Hey guys, how's it going? Red Champ here. So, in this video, I'm going to go over how to hit one timers cleanly to make sure that you get that easy free goal. I'm going to show you what I do on penalty shots to score almost every time. And I'm going to show you some prime locations to just shoot and score. Now, I've gotten a couple questions about this, that's why this video is being made in June. I understand that one timers are a controversial take, especially when you can't defend them and they can easily be abused. But I hope you guys enjoy this. Now, I've helped a lot of people in Discord DMs and I've done a lot of one on one help, but this is going to be a general video to just try to spread the information out there. And let's get right into it. So, coming up here, you're going to see me cross over. I start to hold L. L2 or left trigger depending on which console you are playing on and you'll see that I line myself up in between the dot and the hash marks That is going to be your prime real estate for scoring Second in this next clip here, you're going to see how I slowly pull away from the defender I'm in the same spot and I'm aiming to that top far corner Now having the gold 1T perk will make this super super easy for you Having the silver 1T perk will make it also very easy for you Now if you happen to not have any one timer uh, it's still very possible to score, but there you're not going to get it as clean or as from far away. Having these on allow you to pretty much guarantee free goals when you're in position. So watch coming up here, hold L2, turn pivot to the side, and I aim to the far side. The goalie has to come over, which means due to my shot accuracy and power with the boost from one timer, I'm able to blow it past him on that side. So you see my buddy turns here. I'm slowly positioning myself in. I'm in that sweet spot between the hash marks and the dot. I'm a little bit further back, and it's an easy free goal. Now, you're not always going to be able to get to that spot, but this is a spot that if you can get there, you will score. It works on either side, same spot between the hash marks, between the dot, aim to the far side. Now, there's different ways that you can take the one-timer. If you're totally comfortable with your teammates passing and you kind of know what they're going to do, you can hold L2 and pull back on the right analog stick and then mash the right analog stick up as soon as that puck comes your way and you'll be able to have home a great one tee. But it's not entirely necessary. You can just hold in position and then hit up and then bomb it away. Now, controversial take here. Everybody hates one-timers. I... Uh, Everybody who can't stop one-timers hates one-timers. I understand they're easily abusable, but it's part of the game. And as much as everybody wants to be like, hey, one-timers are dumb, you can only score on one-timers. It's proven through and through that I myself can score in many different ways. But I know that people want to win games, and a lot of people want to build their game around certain player archetypes. Like some people want to play like Ovechkin where you park up on the slot and just bomb it. Some people want to be like Stamkos doing the same thing, right? Not everybody is going to be playing like Kale McCarr out here with elite edges wheeling through everybody and just hitting highlight reel goals all the time. Not everyone's going to be McDavid ripping 90 miles up the ice, burning through everything, and then just tucking it all by himself, 1v4, right? So. So I want to establish that these are things built in the game. These are things everybody should use. Not using them doesn't make you a better player than somebody else who's not using one-timer. The way to win games is to score. It doesn't matter how you score. It just matters that the puck's in the net and the goal counted. So this next one here, I'm going to show you what happens when you're too close to the goal, but you still end up scoring. So... When you're close to the goal, you're not going to get the big slap shot one timer, but you're going to be able to get those little taps. And as you can see, I hold L2, I turn to position my body, and then I flick the puck. So next on this one here, you're going to see how the manual one timer works. So I'm circling around here, my buddy's holding L2, he pulls back, and then he winds up as the puck's coming to him. And this year's been great for that, because in previous years, when you wound up for a one timer and you swung up, your guy would fan on the puck if the puck hadn't reached you. Now you can kind of put it in a queue, and what happens is your guy's not going to swing until that puck is loose and released. So you can pre-prep and get off some wicked shots. However, it will be pretty obvious to the other team that you are winding up for a one-timer. Here you see me on the forehands taking a one-timer, and I just quickly aim to the left side of the net, and I tap it over. Goalie has to come across, so I make sure to shoot it to the far side so that he freezes. 
So this penalty shot in particular is versus human goalies. This is what happens when they get caught deep in the net if you just want to shoot. So this goalie stays super far back and because of that I'm able to rip this high and tight to the post on the far side. So I like to come in on a little angle and then as they back up, as soon as I see them moving, I watch their animation and I make sure I take the shot then because they're frozen in the play and it's a free goal. This next penalty shot is one of my favorites. It's simple and clean. It's not super glitchy or anything. It's just a well-placed shot. So I score this one a lot. I haven't seen too many other players do this. Um, you come in. You slow down, watch the goalie's animation. As soon as he drops in the butterfly, you're going to cut to the left or the right, depending on what hand you are, and then you're going to shoot it to the low corner on the opposite side. For this penalty shot, you're going to stay to the middle of the ice. You're going to pull diagonally back to your wrist shot position on the analog stick. You're going to go forehand, backhand, forehand. And what that's going to do is freeze the goalie and let you get an easy goal. CQ is a super good perk that helps with all of these. It makes everything super cheesy. It's not necessary, but it is one of the meta perks and it is super strong. This penalty shot in particular utilizes the backhand. So this one is all about patience. And what you're going to be able to do here is just walk in. You're going to move your stick at least three times to be frequent. You're going to go wide on the outside and you're cut across. And then as the goalie goes to butterfly down, you can just reach around him and you can tuck it past him. Now, you see there, I got a little lucky and I dodged the poke check. Half the time that'll happen. Half the time you're just going to be able to skate right in and just tuck it past him. But you got to make sure that you go wide past the net there. Next, for this one here, forehand, backhand, forehand, easy snipe, easy goal. This is what you do on breakaways. Similar to penalty shots, but you won't have to worry about setting up and getting the goalie's angle. The goalie will usually pull it out of the way. So, here we go again. We're going to do a toe drag at the start. That gives us a boost of speed. You're going to come in, forehand, backhand, forehand, easy goal. Right? So once you get that one mastered, that one is a go-to. That should be your default breakaway slash penalty shot goal. And that will give you an easy goal 99% of the time if you do it appropriately. Next, I'm going to show you guys a sweet spot for scoring. Last year was all about the short side. This year, it's about the far side, low blocker, or low glove. So when you're coming out of the corner, you can hold it on the wrist shot position and then shoot far side. Now, there is a little glitchy version where you can just circle around the net and glide in front and skate it past the goalie, but this one is the legitimate shot version of it. So you'll see here, a little teaser for a video of Carpeg coming up. We're going to hold on the forehand, come across, and rip it low blocker. Once you get that one down, you're going to be lethal all around the ice. Now, this one is a old NHL goal. Some of you guys should be familiar with this one. You are going to curl the puck behind your back and then you're just going to rip it past the goalie as you skate by him. So what this is going to do is put your stick position behind your back and you're going to skate past the goalie which will freeze him up and you're going to shoot it past him. So you're going to see a big curl here behind the back, skate across and easy goal. And finally, I'm going to throw in the cheesiest 100% goal you can get in this game. This is the Datsuk. So as you're coming in, you're going to skate across the net. You're going to click in your red analog stick, pull down on it. And while you're pulling down, you want to hit R1. And you will be able to dump the puck over the goalie every single time if your positioning is done right. When you have this one mastered, if you have the stats to pull it off, you can get a guaranteed goal every single time. Next, I want to show you how to score without the one-timer perk every single time when you receive a pass without just bombing it. So here I don't just shoot it right away. I skate back into the pass I received. I cut across. That freezes the goalie. Easy goal. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to like, follow, and subscribe. And be sure to check out the TikTok as we're constantly posting over there. This is a video that I should have made at the start of the year, but it's here now. I hope you guys can enjoy it.